Thank you. Uh, Commissioner Benveniste. Good morning, Dr. Rice. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Uh, I want to ask you some questions about the August 6, 2001 PDB. We had been advised in writing by uh, the CIA on March 19, 2004, that the August 6 PDB was prepared and self-generated by a CIA employee. The CIA clarified its version of events, uh, saying that questions by the President prompted them to prepare the August 6 PDB. Uh, you have said to us that the President uh, directed the CIA to uh, prepare the August 6 PDB. The extraordinary high terrorist attack threat level in the summer of 2001 is well documented. And Richard Clark's testimony about the possibility of an attack against the United States homeland was repeatedly discussed from May to August within the intelligence community, and that is well documented. You acknowledged that Richard Clark told you that al-Qaeda cells were in the United States. Did you tell the President at any time prior to August 6 of the existence of al-Qaeda cells in the United States? Um, first, let me just make certain... If you could just answer that well, question, first, because I only have a very I, limited... I understand, Commissioner, but it's, Did you important, tell the it's president. important that I also address... It's also important, uh, Commissioner, that I address the, uh, the other issues that you have raised. So I will do it quickly, but if you'll just give well, me a moment. Well, my only question to you is whether you I understand, told Commissioner, the President. But I will, if you'll just give me a moment, I will uh, address fully the questions okay. that you've asked. Uh, first of all, uh, yes, the uh, August 6th uh, PDB was um, in response to questions of the President. There was no recommendation that we do something about uh, this. The FBI was pursuing it. I really don't remember, um, Commissioner, whether I discussed this with the President. Um, I Thank you. remember very well that the President was aware uh, that there were issues inside the United States. He, he talked to people about this. But I don't remember the al-Qaeda cells as being something that we were told we needed to do something about. Isn't it a fact, Dr. Rice, that the August 6 PDB warned against possible attacks in this country. And I ask you whether you recall the title of that PDB. I believe the title was Bin Laden Determined to Attack Inside the United States. Uh, uh, now, the, uh, the PDB, you. no, Mr. Benveniste, you, you're I will get into I, the. I would like to, to finish my point here. I, I didn't uh, know there given was a that point. You asked me whether or not it warned of attacks. And I then, asked you what the title was. You said, did it not warn of attacks? It did not warn of attacks inside the United States. It was historical information based on uh, old reporting. There was no new threat information, and it did not, in fact, warn of any coming attacks inside the United States. Now, you knew by August 2001 of al-Qaeda involvement in the first World Trade Center bombing. Is that correct? You knew that in 1999, late 99, in the millennium threat period, that we had thwarted an al-Qaeda attempt to blow up uh, Los Angeles International Airport and thwarted uh, cells operating in Brooklyn, New York, and Boston, Massachusetts. As of the August 6th briefing, you learned that al-Qaeda members have resided or traveled to the United States for years and maintained a support system in the United States. And you learned that FBI information since the 1998 blind shake warning of hijackings uh, to free the blind shake indicated a pattern of suspicious activity in the country up until August 6th, consistent with preparation for hijackings. Isn't that so? Do you have other questions that you want me to answer in, as well, part of the sequence? Did you not? You have indicated here that this was some historical document. And I am asking you whether it is not the case 
that you learned in the PDB memo of August 6th that the FBI was saying it had information suggesting that preparations, not historically, but ongoing, along with these uh, numerous full-field investigations against al-Qaeda cells, that preparations were being made consistent with hijackings within the United States. What the August 6th PDB said, and perhaps I should uh, read it to you. We would be happy to have it declassified in full at uh, this time, including its title. I believe, I believe, Mr. Ben Benvenista, that you've had access to this PDB. But, but we have not had it declassified so that it can be shown publicly, I believe as had, you know. I believe you've had access to this PDB, uh, exceptional access. But let me address your question. Nor could we, let me prior to today, reveal the title of that PDB. May I, may I address the question, sir? Commissioner, this was not a warning. This was a historic memo, historical memo prepared by the agency because the president was asking questions about what we knew about the inside. Now, well, if, we if had you already willing, taken... If, if you are willing to declassify that document, then uh, others can make up their minds about it. The president was in Crawford, Texas at the time he received the PDB. You were not with him, correct? That's correct. Now, was the president, in words or substance, alarmed in any way or motivated to take any action, such as meeting with the director of the FBI, meeting with uh, the attorney general as a result of receiving the information contained in the PDB? Uh, the president was told this is historical information. I'm told he was told this is historical information. And there was nothing actionable in this. The president knew that the FBI was pursuing this issue. The president knew that the D Director of Central Intelligence was pursuing this issue. And uh, there was no new threat information in this document to pursue. Did the President meet with the Director of uh, Commissioner, uh, the FBI Commissioner between Fielding. August 6th and September 11th? Um, I will have to get back to you on that. I'm not certain. 